friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming episode number 39 of New Makeup Releases. So let's go ahead and chat about all the new makeup. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, in case you're wondering what is on my eyes today, it is actually a Glam Light palette. I have a four looks with four palettes from their horror series that they launched in October coming up probably tomorrow or maybe the next day. So definitely make sure you have your notifications turned on so you are alerted when I post that video in case any of you have any burning questions about any of those palettes. I thought it'd be a fun way to kind of compile everything. But other than that, I'm ready to talk new releases. I do have one with me. So Blend Money so kindly sent over their Machina or Makina palette. I have such a hard time saying that word because I want to say machine and anyway, all of the things, but this is their latest palette. I did post three looks for this. So I did a first look video, then I did two more looks. I think that would have gone up either yesterday or it's coming up, but I will definitely have that for you guys before this palette launches. So I don't want to spoil anything from those videos, but this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful rainbow palette and I am a Blend Money affiliate. So if you want to save on the palette, you can use my code KHMAKEUP and that's launching on December the 1st at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time and the palette retails for $45. So that is the exciting new palette I have with me. Now I'm going to go ahead and slide on over so we can talk more about some other new launches. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is this horror show. I know Halloween's over but we have to talk about this new palette from P. Louise and I just don't get it. Somebody tagged me in this one so this is available now and it's basically their if looks could chill palette and it's basically this giant palette full of blue eyeshadows. I hear that P. Louise is very like viral on TikTok and I get it every brand has their moment on social media and then it becomes like really super popular and everybody wants to get their hands on it but I don't get it like I don't get this whole obsession with these giant palettes especially with the kind of younger generation I feel like minimalistic makeup is so in with the younger folks out there and so I'm surprised that a brand like P. Louise is so popular i don't know maybe it's just me but the other criticism i've seen with this palette is that it looks so much like the collaboration they just did with michaela so i mean it's like every single shade of blue that you could ever imagine i'm a little bit confused like is this all of the leftovers from when they came out with the michaela palette i don't understand i i, I don't understand and i feel like they always do these monochromatic palettes or they do these rainbow palettes and they give you everything. So it's like, how many P. Louise palettes do you actually need? I am also kind of like part of the problem because I have bought these palettes in the past, but after experiencing them firsthand, like how big they are, how bulky they are to store, I've kind of told myself that no matter what, I really don't want to buy their palettes. I thought about buying one just to make a video and like roast it, but I figured I could just do that here instead. So that is like my first big like WTF launch of this week is like, what the heck were they thinking with that P. Louise palette? Like, please make it make sense. Okay, another one that we have to talk about is of course Melt's collaboration with Bailey Syrian. Now, full disclosure, I've actually filmed this video twice already and I kept running out of steam I got tired and then the first time I filmed it they hadn't revealed the collection yet so I was just like talking about it without actually talking about it then I tried to attempt to refilm it then I ran out of time because my kid woke up from their nap so this is actually the third time I'm filming episode number 39 and I'm like this is it we're gonna just 
we're just gonna knock this out. The next episode is gonna be episode 40. So anyways, we now have the Bailey Syrian and Milk Cosmetics collection has been revealed. It actually went up for sale on Sunday because that was Bailey Syrian's birthday and oh my gosh, I wanted to buy the collection. It was $175 and then she also had a little lipstick set, like a liquid lipstick set for $25. So, I mean, listen, feel free to let me know. Did you spend $200 on the Milk website on Sunday? Tell me so that I can feel better because I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. That was so much money. As you guys know, I'm trying to save up for a trip next year. So I'm trying really hard because you just never know when you might get affiliate payments, when, you know, a video might do well. So I'm trying really hard to hold on to my money because... I feel like I'm so good at spending it and I just I just need to like say no to everything so I said no to the entire collection but there is so many little parts to this so first of all we have the beautiful fatally yours eyeshadow palette and these are all matte shadows and I love that they press the pans with like a plaid on it it looks so cool I cannot wait to get my hands on the eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow palette is definitely coming to Fargo, North Dakota. Like, that's for sure. Then they did like this really cute heart shaped bag, which is adorable and it's like a fashion bag. But, like, I have two little kids, like, I need more room than that bag. So, I decided to skip on the full collection because I didn't need the bag. I also don't really wear a lot of gel eyeliners. I know my friend Heather uses them as a base, but I also already have so many melt gel eyeliners that I don't use that I couldn't justify spending the money on those. And then the beautiful like glitter gels, those look stunning, but I just don't want single gels or eyeshadows or anything because they don't get used as often so I kind of maybe could see myself getting one of the shades like Boom Slang looks amazing it's like an acid green shade and then they have another one called Wisteria which is like a violet with some blue packed into it looks amazing and also with an all matte palette you want something like this if you're into shimmers like I am so I get it like I get it but I don't need it there's also some lipsticks in this collection it looks like there's four shades I know I saw swatches and I think two of the shades I would definitely wear all the time but one of the shades is like a concealer shade because she kind of designed them to like mix and match and then one of the shades is like a vampy red shade which I have those already in like formulas that I love and so I'm like, why would I need that, you know? So I could see myself picking up the two mid-tone shades. Like there's a kind of orangey brown and like a more brown shade, I think. So those I'm interested in. The liquid lipsticks also look stunning. But again, in that trio, there's a light shade because she designed it to be like a custom mixed shade if you wanted. And I just don't need light shades like that. So I honestly feel like at the end when they do launch these individually I can definitely see myself picking up the eyeshadow palette for sure everything else if I miss out on I'll be fine so you guys let me know like what are you thinking because this collection is launching the individual pieces are launching on December the 4th at 12 p.m. Pacific which is 2 p.m. Central Time so I will definitely be on the Milk website shopping. I did end up taking advantage of their Black Friday sale though. I've always wanted to try their bronzer. So I picked up their bronzer and I picked up one more of their eyeliners. There's like a reddish brown shade that I wanted to grab. So that's all the things I ended up buying during the Melt holiday sale and I skipped out on the Bailey Assyrian full collection. But I want to know if you guys ended up picking anything up from that. Okay, another exciting launch is the collaboration between Glam Smitty and Shine by SD. You guys know I ride hard for the brown girls out there and so I'm so excited to see this collaboration. This is the Forest Hughes and Mystic Dreams collection and it's launching on Sunday the 3rd. So basically there's two parts to this collection. We have Mystic Dreams and we have Forest Hues. So Forest Hues is basically themed after childhood books. 
and they are these beautiful shifty six shadows and then we have mystic dreams which is the second part of our collection and the vibe she was going for was dreamy and ethereal so i'll put up swatches and things like that for you guys to check out but it has this total like watercolor mystical like beautiful just like vibe to it and i don't know where the info is on this launch oh my goodness so i don't have much more information i'm trying to figure out like launch dates and times i don't see them but i am so excited for this collection whether i pick this up or not is gonna depend on the price because i feel like these indie shadows tend to be expensive I mean, of course, people can charge whatever they charge. Like I said, I'm trying really hard to save. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford this, but it looks beautiful. Again, I'm not sure if it's going to be offered in that palette setup. That looks amazing. I would love to be able to pick it up in a palette if so. So yeah, if I have anything, I will put that information in my pinned comment as I always do for you guys. Okay, so I am excited about these. Tarte just launched these Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps in a shimmery finish. So these are a duochrome pearl drench lip in a veil of shimmer and multi-dimensional shine. Zero glitter, plumper, smoother, juicier looking lips in seconds. So I do like these because I do have some of the lip balmy ones that are like the pH. And I think I have one that's just like a color too, like a like a oil, but in like a solid form. I can't remember what they're called, but I have those too. I have a bunch of different ones from this like Maracuja line. So these look fun. Like if you like a little bit of dazzle and shimmer, especially for the holiday season, it's perfect. So very excited about that Tarte launch. And we have from Shantakai, they're launching, oh, here comes the Lunar New Year collection. So they're launching this Year of the Dragon lipstick, a smooth, hydrating, glossy, plumping lipstick infused with hyaluronic acid for $52. Red Juniper, a classic and sophisticated red berry. This looks beautiful. The packaging is absolutely stunning. We also have a new fragrance from House of Silage or Siage, sorry, this is the Wednesday fragrance inspired by the wickedly enigmatic character from the hit series Wednesday, Embrace Your Individuality and Revel in the Beauty of Darkness, $418. Spicy floral woody fragrance. That sounds really nice actually. Black pepper, saffron, Turkish rose, ooh, rose kind of throws me off. Honestly, a majority of this does sound like something I would be interested in, but there is no way in heck I would spend $418 on a fragrance, so it's an easy skip for me. We also have new lip balms from Isamaya Beauty inspired by flowers. Is that really what this is inspired by? I'm just kidding, but you guys know they're very X-rated packaging. So these are six new shades of sheer lipstick balm now in refillable format, a wash of color and glossy shine. I feel like this is just the trend right now with lip products, hybrid of a lipstick and a lip oil and a lip gloss. They're very like sheer washes of color on the lips. So these look beautiful. I just don't really love the packaging. So I'm gonna be skipping on those. Okay, next we have the Fenty and CLFX Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. Now, I'm not a big fan of her gloss bombs. I'm just being honest with y'all, but I wanted to find out what this CLF was. So basically, 35% of every purchase of the Clara Lionel Foundation Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer goes to the Clara Lionel Foundation. And basically, this is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping education, health, and emergency response programs around the world. So I think that is a worthy cause. Of course, you can always donate directly to the cause if you so wish to. Um, I'm just not a fan of the gloss bomb or the shade, so it's a pass for me, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that was something that is available. We also have Clinique coming out with their Year of the Dragon collection. So they have repackaged their gel hydration like product, the moisturizer that they have. And then usually they do a highlighter. So the Year of the Dragon highlighter is 
a similar shade to the ones they've done in the past. It's a beautiful like golden shade that should complement a variety of skin tones. I've always been curious about this, but I'm not going to buy it. It's $29. There's also some other products that they have that are packaged in this special packaging, just part of the time of year. Some brands choose to do special collections and products. Some brands just repackage their favorites for the Lunar New Year. So just want to mention that. And then we have from Valentino, this is the reveal of their spring 2024 collection. I'm actually wearing my Valentino foundation today. Totally have been just retrying some of my foundations. And I do like that foundation quite a bit. These are some really beautiful colors. So they are coming out with a cushion foundation and then some satin lipsticks. I love like the brownie rusty shade on the top left hand corner. I don't know how much their lipsticks are. I could definitely see myself purchasing just for fun, but I'm also trying not to buy lipsticks. So it's probably gonna be a skip for me. So from NYX, we're having an addition to the Fat Oil family. It's the Fat Oil Slicks Clicks like lip product. So it's a shiny lip balm that's easy to apply. Basically very similar to the Tarte Maracuja ones I just talked about. I have heard that people aren't as in love with the lip oils as maybe was hyped online, but I personally thought it was okay. I am very picky though when it comes to lip oils. There's not a lot of formulas I really love. I've tried a lot of lip oils, but there's not a lot of formulas I really love. So anyway, there's some really beautiful nude shades, so I could definitely see myself being interested in trying them, but I do have a few Tarte ones that I recently picked up and listen. At some point this year, I'm gonna film a lip declutter and you're gonna see why I don't need any more lipstick. So I'm gonna probably pass on those as well. We have the Garfield collection. So Glamlight just sneakily dropped this little video showcasing that their next collaboration was dropping this week and it was a collection with Garfield. So my speculation is that these shades are gonna match the packaging. So I'm guessing like a pastel palette with these yellows, these greens, and then maybe some more mid-tone mattes and stuff like that just to make it a little bit more versatile. So yeah, those are my speculations. I'm thinking a cross between like the Barbie palette and the ice cream palette. So definitely pulling from those color stories. Let me know what you think of that. Okay, next we have these beautiful lippies from the brand called Roquel Beauty. So this is a influencer started brand. It's called the Refine Velvet Lip Cream Collection. This is beautiful. It's kind of giving me like Pat McGrath, very like luxury, maybe like Christian Louboutin vibes, like with the gold packaging. So there's these lip creams that are 26. And then we have some lip shaders for 19 and a whip lip oil as well. I love a good nude, so these are absolutely beautiful. Again, I don't need a lip product, so I won't actually be buying any of them, but it does look like a beautiful collection. We also have from Tarte another launch. They launch a clay liquid gem foundation. I don't know if she meant to say gel or if it's actually gem. There's usually typos in Trend Mood's captions, so I don't know. Don't come for me. So this is a foundation that catches the light for a youthful glow, customizable, full coverage, while feeling weightless and like a second skin. So we've got 17 shades for $35.98, and it comes with a brush as well. I've never had good luck with Tarte foundations. They never seem to shade match me perfectly. They're usually too warm, so I tend to steer clear. Like, I've tried to make them work, and I've learned my lesson, so I won't be picking this one up, but definitely one for, if you're looking for a youthful glow, this might be one to check out. Y'all, are you thinking like, Karen, your hair looks different. <laughs> I try to curl my hair out of the shower and I swear it's just like so frizzy right now and so then I tried to straighten it and <laughs> I'm like straightening my hair and here come my parents and they're like currently borrowing a car because they're waiting for their insurance to get done for the car they bought and they're on their way to work and my mom's like our car isn't starting um dad tried the battery pack thing that 
you know, my husband had left for him because it's not really like the newest car, you know, that they're borrowing. And anyway, I guess it wasn't charging the battery for their car. So here I am like trying to back my car up into my driveway so my dad can like jumpstart this car. And here's my parents, like I have like a backup camera and they're like trying to tell me like reverse, reverse. And I'm like, can you two move? Cause I'm about to run y'all over like for no reason. I have a backup camera. Like I don't need you to tell me how to back up. <laughs> Honestly, I call my husband and I feel like nobody will believe the stories of having your adult parents like move in with you because they've been here before on like vacations and stuff, but having them here, like having them move here and live with us while they kind of get their footing has been just so insane and like I feel like I could do a whole video about this, but it's literally like I live in a TV show. Like my life is just so different every single day. It's something all the time. Like I was telling my friends on Marco Polo the other day, I was like, my mom had given my dad a freaking Starburst or something. And you know how Starbursts are kind of chewy. So he like bit into it and his filling came out. So then I had to take him to our dentist to get his filling redone. And then the dentist is like, actually, if I put another filling in, It'll probably come off, so you actually need a cap and a crown and all these like dental terms. And then they give him like a quote, $1,600 before insurance. So now he has to wait until his insurance kicks in. Like, I'm just like, who do I tell these stories to? Because it's actually like that wackadoodle. And like, I remember when I was pregnant and I was just like, all I wanted was for my parents to be here so they could help us out because it was literally just me and my husband with a toddler and a newborn. And now I'm like, I get why the universe didn't let them come sooner because we would have had two old kids to take care of plus our own children. <laughs> and listen, I love my parents. They've done so much for me, but it is wild. <laughs> and I don't know that many people would be able to relate because it's such a, I don't want to say unique, but it is kind of a unique perspective because it's like, I'm an immigrant, my parents are immigrants, and then I have these two little kids. It's it's like a circus. Every day is like living in a circus for me. So I wanted to tell that story. If I include it in the video, you're welcome. But I needed to tell it because, oh my God, and I had lipstick on my teeth. <sighs> anyway, let me keep talking about these new releases. Okay, and the next thing that I am so psyched about is this new launch from Nimia. This is Nikki Tutorials brand. So she's launching Cheeky Flush Cream Blushes, a lightweight cream blush that blends and builds easily, providing a vibrant color with a skin-like finish. There's three shades, Hey Coral, Pink Ranger, and Picture Perfect Peachy. I feel like these all look like such beautiful, almost like summery tones, but also how beautiful is that hey carl shade and the way they have it on her in this little promo shot where it's like three stripes i feel like we should just like start that as a blush trend like i want to wear a saturated blush like that like tiger stripes so i think it looks beautiful and if these come to beauty bay I might be tempted to try one out. Okay, so Clinique has more holiday packaging. This is the limited edition special packaging of their Black Honey Almost Lipstick. And this is a crystal covered case designed to dazzle for $30. I feel like that's not bad. So it's not like a Swarovski crystal thing. I don't think I've ever tried this shade from Clinique, but I feel like it's just a burgundy lip shade that I probably already own. Okay, next somebody tagged me on this brand's page. It's called Mika Beauty Shop and they're a European indie brand and it looks like they're launching a new palette. It's called Earth Wizard. Introducing our new eyeshadow palette, Earth Wizard. This is the cover art created by Marcin Piworski. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. This is a sneak peek. The full reveal is coming in the next few days. Pre-order in December. I will say the cover art is absolutely stunning. It doesn't look like they've actually shown the colors yet. It looks like so far it's just a black and white image of the palette. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye on that since one of you guys sent that my way. We have from Clarity. These palettes are already available. So they have two new palettes called Komodo and Anaconda. 
49 for a Komodo Anaconda is 65 and they did have a big Black Friday sale. I don't know some brands. I feel like continued that on. I don't know if it's still on sale, but they did send me the Komodo palette. This is what it looks like. I did include this in a four looks for palettes video about two weeks ago, I think. So check that out if you want to see some looks and stuff with it. But I'm excited because I haven't really tried a ton of Clarity stuff. They did send me their lipsticks. Those are beautiful. And they sent me their like lip and cheek balms. So I'm very excited that they have more things coming out. Okay, next we have a new Kaali fragrance. So this is the newest from the Eden family. Eden Sparkling Lychee. 39 Eau de Parfum. Bright and bubbly. Every spritz of the gym will leave you feeling radiant, cheerful, confident. So the notes are black currant, sparkling lychee, rose de messina, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. This isn't something that I will probably buy without smelling first, but I am very curious because from the description, I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more light and airy compared to Eden. The apple one that they did that one was just a little bit too strong for me so i ended up passing on that and i also passed on their pistachio one that a lot of people really like i've never considered myself sensitive to smells but i've noticed with some fragrances it really like gives me kind of a headache so i do have to be a little bit more careful when i'm picking out fragrances and so the kaali ones in particular i've noticed kind of are a little too strong for me so I always want to smell them before I purchase them. We have this very weird trio from Be Perfect. So this is the new Ultimates Trio featuring the brand new Ultimate Palette, Mini Mattes Palette, and the Ultimate Duo Eye Crayon. From whites and nudes to lights and deep browns, this must-have matte collection has everything you need to create neutral and smoky eye looks. I mean, I love a smoky eye just as much as the next person, but who needs all of this? Ultimate Trio Bundle, $43.88. Ultimate Palette, $26. The Mini Palette is $13. And then the Duo is $12.25. So yeah, this is giving me Morphe 35O vibes and I am not interested in it at all. We have the Solid Pink Disco Collection from Trixie Cosmetics. This is quite the situation here. So. We have a pink disco palette for 20. We've got a dark palette for 20. Their brush set is 40. So there's two cream highlighters that are $18 each and you can get the PR box for $86. I haven't tried anything from Trixie Cosmetics and I've been waiting to see if something catches my eye. There have been a few releases in the past that have kind of caught my attention, but I've always been too busy to try the brand out and in this situation with this pink disco collection, I'm not really interested in any of it. So it's going to be a pass for me. We have from Made by Mitchell, there is a brand new launch. So this is the Blush Balm, dewy, glossy, and pigmented in six best selling shades. I'm guessing from their Blush line, like their liquid blushes. So these kind of remind me of the blushes that Pat McGrath has launched quite recently. I will say the shade Where's the SPF is like calling to me but I don't need another cream blush right now, especially something that's balmy, a little bit sheer. We're going into winter. I have a lot of products like that already, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip on that particular one. So I feel like I talked about this palette, but in case you didn't know, the Ensley Rain Lands of Enchantment collection is now available. I was totally expecting the eyeshadow palette to sell out, and I was pretty surprised that it hadn't, but I also feel like since it launched so close, to Black Friday. There's a lot going on. There were so many sales. So in case you missed it, it is, I believe, still in stock. If it's not, I'm obviously going to cut this part out of the video. But if you are interested, I did post a look with it. And you can use my code Cage Makeup to save, of course. Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about, I actually just got in the mail. So we're going to see a live unboxing. This is True behind the scenes of Karen unboxing a Lethal Cosmetics PR package. So they just launched their new collection just in time for Black Friday. They also had a big sale. So 
This is the outer packaging of their Midnight Serenade palette. And I'm so ready to see this in person. Ooh, oh, this is so pretty. It's like a neutrally palette with tons of beautiful shimmery shades. So I'm so excited to do something with this. I think I might have to do like a testing new makeup video or something, but holy moly, those are gorgeous. And I'm so ready for some new mascara. I feel like I've been in a bit of a mascara rut recently. I have a very embarrassing backup drawer full of mascaras, but it's mascaras that have been sitting there for way too long. So I've been trying to like go through them and use them up, but I'm excited for a new formula. So they came out with a bunch of shades, including a black. I think they also did like a white, a green. They all have their different names on the back. So I don't know which shade is which, but I will definitely be doing a video on this collection. And thank you so much to Lethal Cosmetics for sending it my way. We also have these two new beautiful palettes from the brand Gloss Gods. So this is for their first gal collection, part two. This time they're doing an intergalactic upgrade. Say hello to the next level of their original palettes. Gal on the Moon, Brace Yourself, are three multi-chrome shades. Celestial, Full Moon, and Eclipse have undergone a cosmic glow up. They're now even more vibrant and intense and ready to elevate your looks to a stellar new height. Gal on Mars, introducing the revamped Big Bang and Gravity formulas. These multi-chrome shades are upgraded and out of this world. Get ready to rock those Martian vibes in style. So these are $45. USD each so it sounds like they took existing palettes and you know made them a little bit more poppy a little bit more exciting and then there's also two new palettes so we've got Jupiter which is the first gal on Jupiter remixed a cosmic palette silvers grays and browns inspired by iconic women's fearless journey it's packed with foil metallics lush mattes and captivating duochromes and dazzling holographic glitters and then we have Venus, Feel the Heat with First Gal on Venus Remix, Vibrant Reds, Oranges, and Yellows, Echoing Stories of Courage and Discovery from the Velvety Mattes to Multichromes, Foil Metallics. This palette lets you create sizzling looks as hot as the planet. So that is also $45. I did try Gloss Gods this year and I thought their formula was very nice and very sparkly. Definitely a great option for everybody in the EU that doesn't want to shop American indie brands because it's so expensive. This might be one for you to consider if you are able to shop from, I believe they're based in Sweden. They're a Swedish indie brand. Okay, next we have from Menagerie Cosmetics, they dropped their Arthurine eyeshadow palette. So this is a palette inspired by, I'm guessing their blush palette that was called the Arthurine blush palette. I think that one got discontinued, I'm not 100% sure. But now they have this cute little eyeshadow palette. It's basically like a neutral palette with a little bit of grunge and I almost, I was like, should I buy this? I really should. I definitely like put it in my cart and then I decided to wait because I don't need another eyeshadow palette. I'm still catching up from Halloween which is so cringe so I decided to wait but it does look so cute and my husband loves bears so I always tend to be attracted to things with bears on them but I did do a good job and I stayed away even though I wanted to kind of buy one. I really really did. Okay we also have a sneak peek of Givenchy. This is a limited release for their Prisme Libre Lip Color of Spring 2024 called the Red Collection. I wonder, do you guys know what the color of the year for 2024 is? I'm very curious. So it looks like these products are available in Japan in limited quantities and they'll roll out into Europe. I don't know if these are going to come to the US, but it's basically like this faux croc packaging. We also have more from Givenchy. There is some pictures of their spring 2024 collection so I'll just pop those on the screen for you guys in case you are interested. Okay so we have a reformulated product from e.l.f. This is their new instant lift waterproof brow pencil. So it's an OG formula that has now been made waterproof. There's six shades, four dollars each. I love that e.l.f. is just continuing to cater to people that are looking for affordable, good quality makeup items. 
I feel like it's the way to go because people don't want to spend a ton ton of money unless it's something super quality and honestly it's nice to have an affordable brow product because I feel like it's something that everybody goes through especially brow pencils so very curious to hear what people think of that. It looks like we also have a sneak peek from Sol de Janeiro and this one's catching my eye because it says something Delicia is in the works and that's totally my mom's first name so <laughs> I'm very very curious. I wonder where my grandma got that name from. I really just don't know. I never got to meet her so obviously I never got to ask her that and I think I've asked my mom about it but she has no idea either so yeah. I finally made it to the end of episode 39 of new makeup releases. You guys, I swear I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. It's just that you can't imagine the chaos that I've been living in for the last month or two unless you're here and I feel like I haven't really had a chance to talk about it. So yeah, I just can't believe that happened with the car today. It was so like random but also kind of funny but it's just like one of those things you know where it happens and you're like of course that was gonna happen like this weekend our garbage disposal went out so my husband had to replace that then he did it himself so he forgot to take like something that's in the garbage disposal that helps your dishwasher drain so then our dishwasher wasn't draining so we thought we'd have to call a plumber luckily the plumber like helped him over the phone so we didn't have to pay for the plumber on that but then he came to also check our sump pump because my husband had like turned the wrong valve or listen it's been a mess okay this house we're all barely hanging on by a thread <laughs> just kidding but it's been a while it's okay though we, we're getting through it we're powering through it but um yeah I just wanted to share a little bit of insight into my life because I feel like I don't always talk about it like of course I tell you guys like things like oh I'm having a baby or something like that but this is like everyday stuff that I'm like I feel like it's like I live in a sitcom so anyways I hope you guys are having a fabulous day thank you so much for hanging out with me and let me like tell you all these things so that you know I have somebody to share them with but I will see you guys in my glam light video very very soon and I'll also have a lethal video coming up so stay tuned for those and I will catch you soon Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.